Chadwick residences, Marianne Barrington is grateful. Very grateful. Especially because Chadwick got more money than they expected. It's an unusual thing for someone to call you up and say, well, we'd want to give you more money than you applied for. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, what do you think? And I said, oh, media, that's fine with us. We'll, we'll take it. The nonprofit is a temporary shelter for homeless women located on Syracuse's Valley Drive. The shelter's immediate goal? To do more. And the grant will be used for a small improvement that will help in a big way. The Community Foundation to help us with the transition back to bedrooms, buying beds and dressers and tables and that sort of thing so that um, we could uh, serve more people in the program. That means serving more families. Barrington says over a dozen families may come through the shelter a year, and with only five rooms for them, residents like Stephanie okay. five more kids in here. and her son Marcus can feel like they may need more room. Yeah, the dresses won't be then. They're sharing, him and his brother share one dresser, and now their clothes don't fit for us on top. Chadwick residents formally received $7,700 from the Community Foundation and hopes to open up two more rooms for single women and families. The Chadwick residence wasn't the only nonprofit to get money from the Community Foundation. Almost $400,000 in grants were given by the foundation to various nonprofits across the Syracuse area, such as the Syracuse Children's Choir, the Salvation Army, and Friends of Rosamond Gifford Zoo. Reporting in Syracuse for NCC News, I'm Keely Sullivan. I'm not even running around in the circle talking about I want to be in a video.